Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and welcome to my next Pokemon Sets video. As you can tell from the picture in the background, the Pokemon that won the quote-unquote contest that I ran the other day on my other video was Kangaskhan. It got the most votes out of everybody else, so I'm really excited to do this video because I have some pretty nice Kangaskhan sets that I at least like using a lot. So without any further ado, let's just get right into it like we always do. So first off, as you'll probably know already, Kangaskhan is a mono-normal type Pokemon introduced into Generation 1, and in my opinion is one of the most versatile Pokemon imaginable. It has so many awesome things that I can do, and it's just one of my favorites to make sets for because there are just so many different things you could run on it. Um, but for its abilities, the first one that it gets is known as Early Bird, which is an ability that makes your sleep counter cut in half. So say you are put to sleep for four turns according to the game, you will actually be put to sleep for two turns instead because of Early Bird. Similarly, if you use Rest, which is actually on one of the sets I have for you, you will actually only be asleep for one turn as opposed to the usual two, which is really cool, and it's one of my favorite abilities just because there are a lot of really cool things you can do with it in terms of um, having free recovery with Rest and things like that. Um, and also, you know, being a good sleep absorber in the case, mostly, I guess, with Amoongus and NU, which is where Kangaskhan is. Um, but for its second ability, it is probably the most used ability that Kangaskhan has, which is known as Scrappy, which is a really cool move that allows normal type and ghost type moves, sorry, normal type and fighting type moves to hit ghost types. So that means that Kangaskhan, with um, its stab normal moves, will be able to hit every single type in the game, including the ghosts that would normally be, Im normally be immune to it. So this is really great because it basically eases prediction a lot because you don't actually have to worry about, oh, there's a ghost coming in, so I shouldn't go for a normal type move because normal type move will still hit. So it's really cool in that sense, and it's, again, a really awesome ability that Kangaskhan really benefits from. As for its normal ability, it is known as Inner Focus, which is an ability that prevents flinching, and while it's pretty cool in itself because, you know, getting flinched sucks, but the other two abilities are just far better, so I would probably go with both of those um, if you were making your own sets for Kangaskhan as opposed to Inner Focus. But as for the stats, Kangaskhan is, is extremely well balanced. It has base 105 HP, which is actually above average, making it really cool in the sense that if you wanted to run a sub-punching set, which I know is a semi-common thing to do with Kangaskhan, you will have subs greater than 100 HP, meaning that they cannot be broken by Seismic Toss or Nightshade, which is really cool and doesn't even have to worry about Nightshade anyway. But um, that was just something to point out. As for its attack, it's a really great 95, so you can definitely do some damage with that. And it has some pretty good speed as well, being base 90, so it's not awful, it's not super fast, but um, Scarf Kangaskhan could definitely be a thing with that base 90 speed. Um, as for its special attack, it's the only stat that Kangaskhan really lacks in, um, and it does have a huge special move pool, which kind of stinks, but Kangaskhan does really well with its physical moves anyway, so it's really not that big of a hindrance, but if it had a better special attack, it could run even more sets than it currently can, which is really cool. And as for the defenses, having both 80 apiece is really great, because that means Kangaskhan is able to take hits while also dishing out damage with that nice 95 base attack. So overall, Kangaskhan really doesn't have any horrible weaknesses, which makes it a really awesome Pokemon to use, and one of my favorites to put on any team that I'm using. So with that, let's get looking at the first set that I have for you today, which is one that will feature Early Bird as its ability. So for this first set, we're going to start by giving Kangaskhan a Jolly Nature to increase its speed, but lower its special attack. And then as I just said, we're going to be going with the Early Bird ability. As for the EVs, we're just going to basically go fully offensive, so 252 EVs into our attack, and 252 EVs into our speed to make us as fast and powerful as possible with the Jolly Nature, and then we're throwing the remainder 4 EVs into Special Defense. And the reason why we're doing this, and I actually specifically did this, um, because I realized the other day that Pokemon that have split defenses like this, which are the, the same, sorry, base 80 for Kangaskhan, um, you actually want to invest that last point into Special Defense, because most Pokemon that have the ability Download are Special Attackers, so if you have the special defense boost, or if you have the EV in the special defense, when they get a download boost, it'll actually be their physical attack as opposed to their special, which is actually really cool, and I didn't realize that until the other day, so do that for now on. Um, but for the item, we're actually going to go with a Toxic Orb, and this might seem a little bit weird, but it allows Kangaskhan to hit especially hard, which is really cool. So for the first move on the set, we're going to take advantage of our status, so we're definitely going to be going with Facade as our main attacking move, it's much better, obviously, than Return with the Toxic Orb, um, 
and it also is better than double edge because you don't have recoil, you just have a little bit of toxic damage. But it's really not that big of a deal because there's a couple of moves on the set, or I guess one move on the set that's meant to get rid of all that toxic damage anyways. So basically you just get a Kangaskhan that can hit especially hard because of that really powerful stab move that it gets. As for its secondary attack, because we're not using Scrappy, we're either going to run Crunch or Sucker Punch. Um, both of them would work really well. Um, crunch, obviously, a little bit more reliable, where a Sucker Punch gets priority, but you have to predict a little bit, expecting your opponent to attack while using it. And then for your last move, you can either go with Earthquake or Drain Punch, but I normally would recommend Earthquake in this situation, just because you don't really need the recovery from Drain Punch, since we have our last move on the set, which is Rest. Um, so Earthquake definitely is very useful, giving you some really nice type coverage, and also Facade hits harder than Drain Punch anyway, so the only reason you would maybe use it is for like a little bit of recovery to last one more turn if you need to um, before you rest, but I put it there just in case you might consider it as an option, but Earthquake is definitely the way to go there. Um, but the reason why this set works out really well is because you are essentially a self-healing physical attacker that benefits from your own status. So having the Toxic Orb, you obviously get a Powered Facade, being 140 base because it's doubled when you have a status, and then you're free to rest it off whenever you want to, getting rid of all that Toxic Damage you just accumulated, while also getting back to full HP, and since of the early or since you have the Early Bird ability, you'll only be asleep for one turn. So it allows Kangaskhan to be very offensive and hit really hard at the same time, which is why I really like using this set, because it's a little bit more powerful than traditional Kangaskhan sets, and a little bit more fun to use just because of the early bird with rest ability. As for this next set, I'm basically taking something that I put on a previous set and giving it to Kangaskhan where it actually works far more effectively. So we're start gonna start again with the giant nature to increase our speed but lower our special attack, but this time we're gonna go with the ability Scrappy to allow our normal and fighting type moves to hit ghost types, which is absolutely amazing for this set. And for the EVs, we're actually gonna go with the same spread again, with 252 attack EVs, 4 spe special defense EVs, and 252 EVs in the speed. And as for the item, we're going to go with a Select Berry. Kind of familiar to you guys, I guess, yet? But anyways, um, the moves for this set are going to be Work Up, because Kangaskhan got that this gen, which is absolutely amazing, because it did not have any way of boosting its attack before. So that's really cool for it. Like, it's such an awesome thing that it gets now that it really needed to be that much more of a threat to your opponent. Um, but with that, we're also going to be running Return as our main normal type stab move, and then Reversal to use along with Endor, which is a lot similar to the Low Punny set I posted a couple weeks back. And the reason why this works so well is because of the Scrappy ability. Whereas with Low Punny, we kind of had to hope that we didn't have a Ghost type to run up against because it was Flail and Jump Kick. With Kangaskhan, we don't because it'll hit it regardless of it being a Ghost type. And normal fighting is unresisted when you have the Scrappy ability, which is really freaking cool. So with that and Endor, you can basically dish out a ton of damage while setting up. You get plus one speed from the Slackberry and however many attack boosts you could possibly get with Workup. And it's just such a powerhouse to use. Um, so with that, I'm obviously going to show you a little bit of a clip with this um, to show you just how effective this set can be. So I throw in the first couple turns here just to kind of show you what happens. Basically, I put this War Turtle to sleep, which is amazing because I don't have to worry about Scald Burn now, and I can set up for free. So I go for one workup, Garbodor comes in, able to return it. The aftermath damage here actually really sucks, but don't worry about that. But anyways, Superior comes in, I know I can take a Leaf Blade, so I take it, I my Slackberry activates, and I'm able to two-hit KO it. Regirock comes in, endure the Rock Slide, reversal it, kill it. Now here's where it sucks, if I put up Stealth Rock I would have won this game, but I didn't. So I go for the Endure, and then I go for the double Endure, and it doesn't work. So I actually lose it, but if I got the second Endure I would have killed the Kangaskhan, and then would, or sorry, killed the Zangoose, and then would have been able to kill the um, War Turtle right after. And that's why you set up Stealth Rock, by the way, because things like that wouldn't happen. I forgot to that game. But anyways, if you saw the score there, it was 1-5, to five, and I ended up essentially taking down 3 of them, almost 4 if I was smarter earlier in the battle. But if I was able to, I would have just had a late game sweep comeback, basically. So that is just how awesome this set can be if you get the chance to set up with it. Because there are so many things that just cannot handle it. Because Kangaskhan in itself is really powerful, then with the speed boost and the attack boost, it's just a powerhouse. And that's why I love this Pokemon so much. 
But anyways, that is it for this video, everyone. Um, I'll probably do another one for second gen. I'll have you guys pick that um, when I post that video, I guess. Actually, you know what? Do that in the comments here. Um, pick the second gen Pokemon you want me to do. That'll be the next thing I do. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. So as always, everybody, thank you for watching. Take care, goodbye, and I hope to see you next time. Later.